dropping back from the fish and invertebrate holding system, it's time to show you guys. Look at that huge spread of aquarium corals over there. These, what's really interesting about uh, white corals is that since they're a German and European uh, aquarium coral supplier, um, the interest and the demand is for a really, really different variety of corals um, than we would find in America. So there's a lot more colonies. Um, they still work on some frags. They make their own little frag bases, but really the emphasis is on colonies to make beautiful displays. And uh, you can see over there is the uh, much more brightly lit Acropora system. So one thing that you can see right off the bat is that for the most part, they use banks and banks of T5 to absolutely flood their SPS corals um, with lighting for uh, better coloration. Um, obviously, these are just holding tanks, so not for grow out. But, um, you know, these corals actually look a little bit more pastel than what we would find in America. In America, we would definitely have these uh, tanks really, really blued out a little bit more like they have over here on this side. So. This is where you find a lot more mushrooms, uh, lords, LPS, um, cyanarinas, and uh, on that back row over there, um, that's where you'll find a lot more of the zoanthids, soft corals, and anemones. So on their side, they're actually using uh, one row of uh, Radeon XR30 Pros, and uh, over here, there's two rows because the, the tanks are actually massive. That is one massive single tank. Can you believe that? And the pane of glass on the end goes almost all the way from end to end. So this is actually the, uh, the, the junction right here, but that pane of glass, I believe they said it was six meters. So it's a 20 foot long pane of glass um, just to house some corals. So really awesome that they didn't go warehousey with this place. And the presentation is absolutely on point. And um, we're gonna take a closer look at some of the uh, animals they have on offer. Okay, so as I was saying, this is the system that holds uh, more of the uh, zoanthids. And once again, um, whether or not they have names, there's just a huge diversity of zoanthid species, mushroom species, all on, all on whole rocks. There's, uh, there are some single mushrooms in some places here, but um, really these are all big clusters of, uh, of corals that are just totally ready to be put into a reef tank and make a beautiful aquascape. So that's the zoanthid section. Over here is a lot more of the uh, recordias. Absolutely awesome selection. We'd be proud to see this in an American store. So um, these guys are definitely staying on top of it uh, by getting these uh, Caribbean corals from Florida. One thing that we see less and less often are the uh, just nice colonies of soft corals. You know, these are the bread and butter of the reef aquarium hobby. But uh, you know, for some reason, it's actually quite uh, rare to go into a shop and see them have a nice big diversity of toadstools, colt corals, finger leathers, devil's hand leathers, pipe organ, green star polyp. You know, if you want some green star polyp, these guys, they got you covered. There's browns, there's greens, there's ultras, maybe a little bit of branching green star polyps. And while they're at it, a little bit of pipe organ thrown into the mix. And this section here is where they sort out all their different anemones. So we got some rose anemones, some flower anemones, some uh, mini maxi carpets, some bubble tips, some condies. Again, really cool to see that they have a section um, actually dedicated to uh, anemones for your home aquarium. So you'll have to excuse the, the loud gurgling over here. This is uh, some contraption that they have set up to actually help uh, increase the drain flow rate and it's only really loud when the water flow is turned down, such as it is right now, so that I could give you this tour. Again, huge spread of elegance corals, lots of little baby ones. Oh my God, these are so cute. I know I can get these in America, but I'm just so tempted to you know, pick one up and, and take it home. But uh, a 
I'll just have to keep an eye out for them back home. A um, bunch of trachophilias, a uh, bunch of euphilias. Here we have the Duncan corals, uh, Moslea. You know, again, this is kind of a spread of corals that we just wouldn't generally see um, in America. Everything's just gotten so much smaller, in some cases a whole lot brighter as well, um, but really, really cool to see. Just like a, a whole diversity of corals up in this place. Here's the frag section. You can see you have a lot of different LPSs, and um, looks like they got a really nice big batch of Australophilia wilsoni, or just uh, wilsoni corals from Western Australia. And again, these are Caribbean Gorgonians, but um, you know you would just never see a beautiful spread of sea fans. Uh, Really cool, again, to see such a huge diversity of corals. And the other thing I wanted to mention is, um, you know, maybe it's that German aesthetic where everything is just very, very well organized. Uh, so it's, you know, they, they have to stay on top of it because they actually move a ton, a ton of coral. And um, so the one thing that I think uh, I'm not seeing too much of here is actually the chalice corals. This is like about as much as they have, just a couple of few pieces of chalice corals. But uh, over there, you can see there's a lot of goniastrias, a lot of acan echinatas, and moslea. Moslea has uh, mostly fallen out of favor in the United States, but here it is uh, at White Corals. The flower pot section, blastomusas. Yeah, you could, uh, you could set up a really nice reef tank and pick all your corals out in one day uh, by visiting this shop. corals that seems to be really popular in uh, Europe right now is the Micromusa Lords. They have so many Lord corals. Um, they have all the frags over here, a ton of different colorful red, green, rainbow, tricolor uh, Lord frags, but also a bunch of colonies, tons and tons of colonies here. And um, in case you were wondering the, the, the difference between an Acan and a Micro, here you can see there's a there's a uh, Acan Echinata right there, and there's a Micro Lord. And this is why it matters to know the difference between the two, because an Acan will kill a Lord, which was formerly Acanthastria, causing some confusion. But you can see who wins, right? So don't put your Acans next to your Lords, because your Lords will lose. We've got another another huge section of lords and uh, here's a little bit more of a shuffling tank looks like a, this is where a, a, some other zoanthas are also kept a lot of different polyps snake polyps and uh, a lot of loose shrooms it appears that uh, Europe is kind of catching up to the uh, American uh, interest in all different types of uh, coralomorphs and um, they look really good you know they have a really really great spread to be honest one thing I don't know about this shot since it's mail order, um, there's no prices listed on any of these uh, animals. So I don't really know how much they cost, but I'm pretty sure it's not as much as they would be in America. And again, a bunch of rocks, whole complete rocks of mushrooms. It's nice to see some, uh, some love being given for the elephant ear, some cool bullseye, bullseye shrooms. Um, and oh yeah, there's a real diverse rock right here with some watermelon, some red spotted, uh, this really, really cool selection uh, here at White Corals. And last but not least, the, the final section in the, uh, the LPS uh, system is um, some Lobophilias and some Symphilias and um, just a little bit of a mix and match over here. So that has been kind of like the, the medium energy section of their coral tanks. And now it's time to take a look at all the SPS.
so one thing that I really appreciate is um, not only is everything very well organized, but you know, over there in those systems, everything's optimized for the type of corals that's in those tanks, whether it's zoanthids or LPS or, or micro lords. And in this system, it's all about the SVS. So there's banks upon banks upon banks of uh, these uh, T5 fixtures here. There's just absolutely blanketing uh, this entire system. And again, we have one uh, nearly continuous huge pane of glass to cover the entire thing. And um, just on this side, there's a couple Radeon Pros. I don't know uh, why they're using Radeon Pros on this side. Maybe they're experimenting for uh, uh, you know, some upgrades of lighting in the future. But um, they seem pretty well committed to using these T5 lights for their SPS corals. And um, man, it's an entire catalog of corals here from uh, Indonesia, from Bali, from uh, Australia, both sides of Australia, whole bunch of stuff. Here you can see some really awesome specimens of uh, strawberry shortcake and things from uh, the Great Barrier Reef. On this side, you can see a little bit more of the cultured acros. And uh, again, all the different corals that you could ever want. And uh, what's neat is that they're holding them pretty well pastel colored. So very European style of coral presentation here. This is um, actually, you know, borderline about as many SPS coral colonies as I've ever seen in a single fish store. A reef aquarium store. This is absolutely a reef store. And the pinks that they're able to get on their uh, Silophorus is really, really impressive. I assume that they're using uh, you know, primarily NIOS products uh, for all of their uh, chemistry management, for, for all their trace element replenishment. And uh, you know what? These corals really, really look the part. Really cool to see. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, kind of thorough tour of white corals here in Stuttgart, Germany. It's really, really is one of the most impressive displays of products, fish, corals that I've ever seen anywhere. So really, really impressed with what these guys have done here. And um, we do have one more thing to show you, but I want to put together a separate video for their display reef tank, because this thing is so awesome and beautiful. It really deserves uh, a feature of its own. So if you enjoy this video and you want to see what this tank is about, you know what to do, right? Thanks for joining me on this video and I'll catch you guys on the next feature.